Hi there Photoshoppers, I'm Ken Fisher and for the next few minutes I want to show you the new and improved Refine Edge feature that came out in Photoshop CC 2015.5. Now this isn't a new feature but it has been improved beyond all recognition. So much so now it has its own workspace and a brand new name Select a Mask. So let's see how it works. Well, here we've got an image and I'd, I'd like to extract this guy and put him on a different background. And over in the layers panel you can see that I've got just a just a layer underneath with a little bit of texture on. Now the tool itself works exactly the same as it, it always did. Uh, first you have to make a rough selection. So let's do that. And the tool that I like to, my tool of choice if you like, is the quick selection tool. And I'm just going to make a quick selection of something like that and then we'll go and we'll select the new tool which is select a mask as you'll see that brings us through to a completely new interface this tool is so important it's so critical to be able to make good selections quickly that it's got its own interface now and I think it's great okay let's just have a quick tour around the interface over on the, the left hand side here we've got the toolbar and on it we've got the specific tools that we need for this job. Uh, we've got the quick selection tool and we've got the refine edge brush. We've also got a brush tool which allows you to brush in and brush out. And then we've got the lasso tool and we've got a hand tool for moving around and we've got a zoom tool. Over here on the right hand side we've got the properties panel itself. Now firstly we've got the view modes. I'll just show you these and the first one is a new one it's called onion skin. This is incredible I love this to bits and I'll show you that in a moment. Other ones we've got the traditional marching ants we've got a red overlay we've got it on black on white and as a mask and then on layers. But I'm going to go back to this new one, this onion skin, which I think is pretty cool. Now we've got a show edge feature up at the top and this is where we're going to be using edge detection. Well in this one we're not. Edge detection is really for more high frequency stuff like flyaway hair and fur and stuff like that. But basically we've, we're allowed to define a radius, a smart radius. And if I click on smart radius it will put a radius on. And if I go now up to show edge or click the J key, you'll see it shows you the actual radius. And the radius is an area in, in which you're asking Photoshop to look for an edge. Now with this particular one, it doesn't matter because it is a really well defined edge. So I'll just switch that off because we don't really need it. And I'll switch that off. Now global adjustments. Well, they're the same as they were. We can smooth the edge, so we can put a bit of smoothing in if you've got a little bit of a craggy edge. Be careful with this though. If you put too much smoothing in, it does, it does distort the edge a little bit and degrade it. We've got feather. This can, this can help to give you a more realistic match. We can just put a little bit of feather and it just softens that edge transition at the edge. If it's a bit too soft we can use a little bit of contrast just to bring all them fuzzy edges and crisp them up a little bit. And then we've got shift edge. If we've got any halo pixels, so if, we, if we're selecting this out of a, um, like say a white background or a, a really contrasty background, then we might have some edge pixels that come in. So what we can do is we can use shift edge and basically this just shifts the edge by a certain amount of pixels in or out. So if I move this right in, you'll see it, it gets a little bit smaller because basically we're taking more out of the uh, out of the edge by shifting the edge in. And if we shift it out, you'll see more of these edge pixels start coming in. Again, on this one, we'll leave that set to zero because I think that's pretty good as it is. And then we've got some output settings. Um, we've got decontaminate colors, but again, this is really relevant for more where you've got, got high frequency things like hair. And then we've got an output to, and this gives us some options. Do we want to output to a selection, a layer mask, a new layer, new layer with layer mask, a new document or a new document with a layer mask. 
OK, well, let's just continue on with this and see how it works. Again, we've just in onion skin mode, or you can press the O key just to bring you into onion skin mode. And here we can see that I've got a little bit of the selection, not all of it, but I've got some of it. But I can't really see where the rest of it is. Now, that's where this, this onion skin comes in, because we've got a transparency slider. And what I can do is I can drag that transparency slider and actually see through to the image underneath, which is brilliant. So I've still got my quick selection tool selected and I'm now going to just drag in where I've missed. And you can see it's pretty good because it, it, it knows where the edges are and it quickly fills them all in. And that's pretty cool. Now we've also got a brush tool because the quick selection tool can be a little bit erratic um, if you go too far and so you can cause yourself a little bit extra work. So what there is, there's the actual brush tool here. And what this allows you to do, and I, I can make it bigger or smaller with the square brackets. So if I just click and drag, for instance, on this corner, you'll see that it actually brings back in part of the background. Now, if I hold the Alt key in, or you can go up here on the tool, op on the tool options bar up here and click the minus, but I'm a bit of a keyboard chunky. So I like me Alt key. So if I hold the Alt key down, you'll see it changes to a minus. And now I can just paint out the bits that I don't want. Well, that looks pretty good. And now all I've got to do is decide how I want to output it. And this time I'll choose a new layer with a layer mask. And then I'll click OK. And we go back to Photoshop. And here in Photoshop you can see it's switched off the original layer and it's duplicated that layer with the layer mask. So this layer now we don't need, so I can just drag that and drop it in the bin. And I've now got a really accurate, nicely put together mask. Ooh, I think I've missed a bit. All right. Let's go back into select a mask and let's zoom in on this area. I think I've missed this little bit here. Oh yeah, yeah, which is the, the, the cable from his ear, his little ear plug. Okay, well I'm going back to my onion skin. And I'll use my brush tool, make it nice and small. And I'll just try and brush back in this little piece without bringing too much of the background back. Maybe a bit smaller. Okay, got a couple of bits of brown in there, so I'm just going to hold the Alt key down and paint them back out again. And I think that's good enough. So we'll zoom back out again. Mm. And I think I've done. Now let's have a look at a slightly different project. We'll have a look at this image here. Now here we've got a little bit more high frequency where we've got these flyaway hairs that we'd like to try and um, capture. So okay, we're same thing, let's make a rough selection to start with, with a quick selection tool. And then we'll go into select a mask. I'm going to use my transparency again on my onion skinning. I'm going to keep on with the, the quick selection tool and just fill in all these areas here. This is so cool. Get these little bits that I've missed. Okay, and here you see there's a little bit extra come out here, so I'm just going to get my brush tool. I'm going to hold the Alt key down, make it a bit bigger, and just draw it back out again. Well, that looks pretty good. 
So now I've just got the, the hair. Now there's a couple of areas here that have, have gone into transparency. Let's just move that back out just so we can see. Yeah, so we, we've actually missed these. So again, I've got my brush tool and I'm just going to paint these in, these areas back in. Then hold the Alt key down and just paint out the green areas, which are the from the background. Right, okay. Now I'm going to switch brushes. I'm now going to go to the Refine Edge brush. I'll switch on my Smart Radius. I believe it's set for about 10. And then all I'm going to do is just try and bring back some of these little soft edges here. And, and I'm just asking Photoshop just to look and in a little more, bit more detail at a wider area. So I'm just going to click and drag, maybe bring that down a little bit. And click and drag just to try and bring some of these soft hairs back. And there's some around this side, there's some on the bottom here. It's just a case of clicking and dragging nice and gently where you think there are some hairs. Okay, now it's introduced a little bit of transparency, so I'm going to select my brush tool again and just draw that back in. And for this project, I think, I think I'll leave it at that. I think that looks pretty good. Oh, I've got a little bit here that I've missed, so I'm going to draw that out. So I'm going to hold the Alt key down and just erase that little piece there that don't look bad okay so i've done now so i'm just going to select my output setting when i want to output this as a selection and i'm going to click ok i've now got my selection and i want to turn it black and white so i'm going to add a black and white adjustment layer and that'll use that selection to turn it black and white, but it's obviously the wrong way around. What I want is it inverted. So I'm going to click on the mask and then in the properties panel for the mask, we've got an invert button. And if I click on that invert button, hey presto, the background goes black and white and the center image of the young lady stays in color. I think that's pretty cool. So that's it. The new select and mask feature in Photoshop CC 2015.5. If you found this useful, please give me a thumbs up or leave me a message below the video. I'm Ken Fisher. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.